my name is Brian Bendig and I'm the president of Cavalier Tool and Manufacturing here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Uh, Cavalier Tool has been around for 35 years and we've been an industry leader in many different sectors including some of the automotive, non-automotive, recreational, consumer products and some medical products. Um, we're noted to be one to use a plethora of various materials. Um, it's not uncommon to quote nine or eleven different types of aluminum, if you will. Um, every grade and every function has uh, its place for that molder. The only thing we don't tend to do is simple. <laughs> we don't get a lot of simple. CNC equipment's not like buying a car where you want a, a new one every two, three years. For us, we look at uh, return on investment, and a lot of guys might value that over two to five years. Well, I tend to look a little bit deeper than that. You know, I'm looking for the results 10 years out, 15 years out. Where's this business going to be in 15 years? Wouldn't you love to know that machine would be as accurate as it was the first day and the reliability is there? So some of these things went into our decision when purchasing the Makino, the longevity, the reliability. was unique about the Makino, we, we decided to go with the Makino A92. And one of the reasons we wanted the horizontal is we love the idea of the, of the evacuation of the chips and such, but having those dual tables was very important. We we're always cutting in one job, we were loading over here. We can very quickly shuffle those tables around and move a lot of work through that machine. On top of that, to complement that, the Makino offers a 92 tool position changer. So it allows us to use such a wide variety of tooling that we can get stuff in and out of the machine very, very quick. Some of the bigger advantages on the Makino is uh, surface finish. Um, the ability to maintain that high quality finish uh, really eliminates a lot of the need for the manual operations after the machining process. We did a study on a automotive fanning, a rather large 22 inch in diameter, nine blade ringed automotive fan. We put the tool in the press to check it and we started on 5,000 shim. All we did was tickle some of the rads in the bottom, pulled out 5,000 shim, all the locks, everything came in. That job was in and out of the press in under three hours. One man. That type of cutting is what allows you to be competitive. The idea behind equipment like the Makino is it allows us to build our building and increase our throughput without adding bricks, mortar, and bodies. There are some applications where we're two, three, and even four times faster. A uh, good one that comes to mind is the 2D on the, the plates as an example. Um, one of the reasons you're so fast is the machine's very quick. Um, not only in feed rates, but in rapids and tool change. So as you are using uh, perhaps maybe a smaller cut, but you're doing different tools quite frequently, you uh, then find, you know, in the old days, you might only want to run five or six different tools to machine a plate. Well, now we might run 30 tools to machine that same plate. Well, you think to yourself, why would you do so many? When the machine is that fast to go over and grab another tool, it changes your, your thought process of how you program and how you machine. You now will introduce more tools into the process for the end result being quicker, faster, and more accurate. We are the company that are uh, growing. Um, we've acquired a lot of new customers. Um, We've become very successful because of how we machine and who we are, the type of company that we've become. I, I'm a big believer it's people, process, and equipment, and we've got the right formula for success here at Cavalier Tool.